Welcome back to Surviving Skyrim with Max. This is Tyvius. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Max just finished helping out with beating the uh, dragon over at Kynes Grove. And the dragon, I believe, is just over this little rise here. We'll take a look. should see the skeleton. And we got the whole lowdown from, uh, oh, it's up here. We got the whole lowdown from, um, what's her name, uh, Delphine, as to why they were searching for Dragonborn. And, uh, what's she doing, tending to? Oh, you're going Anyway, um, yeah, there's the dragon. A little bit toasted. Anyway, if you missed that episode, it's the previous one. Uh, definitely go check it out. It was uh, quite a battle. And uh, the dragon was actually attacking the giant that was over there and their mammoth. And killed a couple of our, of our uh, warriors. But anyway, now our job, as mentioned in the last video, is to go up there to High Hrothgar and uh, give this horn of Jorgen Windcaller to the Greybeards in order to uh, have them officially proclaim me to be Dragonborn. Give me a proper title and possibly even bestow some more good stuff on me <laughs> we'll soon find out we'll soon find out uh, the route that we're going to take is uh, we're here and uh, where is it there's Hive Prothgar and because we need to get over here we're going to be taking this route here and there's Something here I don't think I've ever seen before. Wind path. Um, I'm not sure what that is. We did take care. No, we didn't take care of Fort Amal. We took care of this one, uh, Valtheim Towers. Uh, that was on the route from White Run to Kynes Grove. Uh, there were a couple of bandits there. Nothing major. Um, it wasn't really a fight. So. I didn't feel that it was worth uh, worth taking. What the heck was that? He thanked us for contacting him, but said they didn't need any more lumber at the moment. Oh. Oh, great! Another wanderer slumming it on your way to Windhelm. Oh, aren't we cheery? Now, where I think we're I just going to have to forego that. Anyway. So, um, oh, yeah, that reminds me. I just saw the heading up on, on the top right, top left corner. And uh, it was stating we have a new mod that we installed. And that new mod is Immersive Armors. Now there's lots of armors to choose from and as you can see here they went a little bit overboard. These are all the different armors that are available and I believe I'm hoping that we'll see some on some of the NPCs throughout the game and the uh, from what they were saying initially the vanilla game has about 36 uh, less than 40 different shields in here they have 300 and oh almost 400 they multiplied it by 10 so um i'm hoping that we see some of those things i don't think that uh no she hasn't changed her armor yet so but uh, yeah, I'm going to try to craft up some some good armor. I went and took a look at most of their armor sets, and 
um, the, there's a couple that I really, really like, and I'm going to try to craft them up if I can. We'll see about that when the time comes. So anyway, I'm going to quickly pop over to, to uh, Windhelm here and talk to the Jarl. Maybe, maybe, I could become a Stormcloak. Palace of the Kings. Oh, okay, this must be where the Jarl is. Balgruk won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you Only the foolish wait? or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? I think you do. We've already met, I'm sure. Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, by the way, everyone, uh, what the Jarl is wearing is part of the immersive armors. Uh, actually, what <laughs> both of them are wearing is the immersive armors. Um, I noticed the, the shoes, the boots, uh, they've got the claws on them and the robe. Yeah, it's much more uh, more majestic for a Jarl. So, anyway, um, yeah, I, I helped uh, Roloff escape. He said he'd vouch for me. Roloff's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man. But he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galma. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Well, I can, and Seems so can you. Branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. You think I need to send Volgraf a stronger message? Okay. Hmm. Helga, huh? Yep. Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. But first, tell me, why the Breton want to fight for Skyrim? Skyrim is home to more than just Nords. Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? That's why I'm here. I want to join. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. I can handle anything you throw at me. Uh, no. What kind of test? The kind men use to measure themselves. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you won't going to be much use to me anyway. What's that Serpentstone Island? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation, built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. <laughs> yeah, does every recruit have to do this? Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. I'm off to kill an ice wraith. I'll be back soon. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. If by message you mean... Elixir to resist cold. Ice wraith bane added. Okay, so let's go do this. Where do you think you're done? Soon. Don't you I dare eat that sweet roll. Let's like you go. You look ready to take on just about anything. <laughs> was Wish I could say the same for myself. I own the cruel seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my ancestors. Things okay. 
so we are off to go slay an ice race. All that just become a storm cloak. And where is this place that we have to go to? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a, uh, got a little bit of a hike to do, so we head around this way. Okay. Off we go. Okay, we're on our way over to kill this ice wraith on, to the, on this island in order to become, to show our, our worth at, at becoming a storm cloak. Rather be a storm cloak under uh, Jarl Ulfric than over under uh, the other one. What's happening up here? Oh, interesting. I don't know if we want to. Uh, Take the coin first? No, we're not going to take the coin first. I don't want to be known to take offerings to the dead. Ooh, we got something happening here. Now, why did this not um, take soul gem or fill a soul gem. I think. Ugh. Come here. You need to carry some stuff. What? Oh, hello. Really? And here I thought you can actually lift. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. Kidding. Here, I'll help you out. Okay. Here we go. I know you, you're carrying a lot already there, recorder, but uh, I got six pelt. Give you both of those. Uh, it's the dragon bones that's... and these. Um... To, to, to how was our weight? Oh, our weight's okay for now. Okay. All right. We'll talk later. Yeah, then. we sure will. Oh, I wanted to check my air, my bow, and find out why is it not? Hmm. Charge it more. Okay, it's charged. I don't understand why it's not working. Maybe I need a stronger soul stone? I don't know. Recorder, where are you? There you are. You had to go around? Oh, level up, level up, level up. And we want to go uh, health, health, stamina, yeah, health, okay. And we have two perks, okay. Let's check this out. Uh, smithing, I want to check out smithing, see what we've got here. Heavy metal molding. Weapon smith, any weapon can be further improved by one rank. Ignore 5% damage from weapons you know how to craft. Ooh. Mystic altering, not interesting. Refined artistry. Automatically unlocks elven casting and later glass forming at the respective levels. Hmm. Nordic crafting automatically unlocks basic iron and level leather steel forging scale and plate crafting and finally any armor can be improved by one rank ignores when it where when attacking enemies wearing armor you know how to craft Heavy 
armor blocking one handed next rank power attacks with one handed weapons cost 50% less stamina ooh I'm gonna do that one um I need 60 <laughs> I can't do that one and I've only got 24 let's try something else here archery training I've got 36 up oh, get back there use light bulbs to their full potential uh, 36 requires 20 light bulb we've already got this one eagle eye pressing block yeah okay that's one critical shot light bows gain a 15 percent chance of a critical hit Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Oh, do I need this one first? Oh yeah, I need to work my way up here, so let's do this. There we go. Gonna become a master archer. There she is. Okay, come on recorder. Let's go kill us an ice wraith. I think I see one there. And I'm going to do a quick save right here. Just to be safe. Come on. We did it. <laughs> we got ourselves a nice wraith. And there's the essence to prove it. Now let's find out what this is. We're going to go back to Galmar now. Activate the serpent stone. What is this? Once a day, under those under the sign of the serpent can use a ranged per paralyzing poison on opponents you may only have one blessing at a time uh, I've got the warrior blessing I don't want this one yep anyway we're gonna make our way back to uh, Did you feel that? back to Windhelm it feels like hunger. hunger by the way isn't it time for dinner yet just about we're gonna go Back to Windhelm, and you can have your dinner. Okay. Put your weapon away. <laughs> See you back at Windhelm, folks. And here we are, back at Windhelm. I don't want to go up there. Why do I want to go up there? We're back at Windhelm. We're going to see... One of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Gelnar. I believe that's his name. And we're gonna become a stormcloak. I know, I get a little crazy when I fight, but hey. I was gonna say stormtrooper, <laughs> but we're stormcloak. No? Oh, I wanted to check something. This is one of the guards, and apparently guards have Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Different Mine's helmets on. Yeah. He does have a little bit it does look a little bit different than the previous one. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual. Anyway, yeah, he's wearing this traditional storm cloak stuff. You're talking about Alfred Stormcloak murdering the High King. You're in Windhelm. Tell me again why we're wasting time and resources 
where are you? We don't even the storm folks are finding victory across the land. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. You're alive. I told you I'd make it. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. How much farther You're do we have to run? definitely Stormcloak material. I should have worked it's on my It's time we up. made this official. Are you ready to take the oath? I am. What oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. Yeah, I'm ready to take the oath. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A hero of the people. A true son of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. The Earl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the storm cloak. The true sons and daughters of Skyrim. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. <laughs> oh, and here, you're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Fur boots, Stormcloak, fur gauntlet, hide helmet added. Okay, but what kind of, uh, I'm going to have to check out the armor rating on these. Uh, recorder, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay, what's the mission? I have found the final resting place of the jagged crown. Can you believe it? Well... I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvinjoon. But if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. What's the jagged crown? Have you not heard that ancient verse? Maw unleashing rays of snow, of dragons from the blue brought down. Birds, the walking winter's woe, the high king in his jagged crown. Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the high king always wore the jagged crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, who would dare deny Ulfric's claim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow? I agree with you. I agree with you. How do you know the crown is at Corvin? It's true. The location of the crown was lost with King Borgas after the great hunt killed him while he was off on his damned Alessian campaigns. But legend holds. His body was secretly returned to Skyrim and buried with the crown. Its exact whereabouts lost in the following wars of succession. Through sources that shall remain nameless, I've tracked down what I believe to be the final resting place of King Borgas, Corvanjun. If the crown exists, it will be there. Hmm. You anticipate danger? Great hunt killed old King Borgas. 
gods only know with what profane arts those elves cursed his remains. Curses notwithstanding, the tombs of kings are always full of traps to ward off grave robbers, are they not? But nothing a band of Stormcloaks can't handle, I assure you. Yeah, I've handled a lot. What are your reasons for joining the war? Reasons? Since when does a man need a reason to protect his family, to defend his homeland? That's true. It's the damn outlanders, an empire that need the reasons. Yeah, I see that. Hasn't Skyrim always been part of the empire? Not this empire. The world's better without it. Certainly Skyrim is. I fought in the Imperial Army, in the war against the Dominion. I bled and spilled blood for the Empire. And for what? The Empire to bend its knee before those evil elf bastards? Signing a treaty meant to kill the heart of the Empire itself? To deny Talos? No. I will have no part of any such Empire. And I will gladly gut anyone who says otherwise. Enough talk. The There's much to do. They demand the moot. Okay. And damn the moot. <coughs> we should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's women on the throne. She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make a king. No, but this one. If it even exists. We'll find it, Ulrich. And it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our here? cause. Think You're supposed it. to be a Corvignon. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm on my way. Time before Jarls and Moots. Okay. Talos guide you. When the king was a king because his enemies... Okay, so... And his people... We gotta check out this inventory, or this uh, armor here. Now, I am currently... Armor rating 62. And they gave me some uh, Stormcloak armor. <laughs> it's less. Um, I'm not going to be wearing that. Sorry, guys. In fact, I'm going to be creating my own. Hmm. I'm going to be creating my own armor. Yeah, I'm going to be creating my own armor. So, um... Yeah, we're going to be, uh... Keeping this armor on for a little while. And, uh... We're going to head over to Corvin, Corvin John to get this crown. But first, we have to go up to see the Greybeards.